Hello, and uh, I apologize for the long intro screen. 20 minutes on the dock. Yeah, getting some things done. I hope everyone's having a good Friday. Yes. Debbie goes first. This is his board, his Zeno. Uh, if you haven't seen the unboxing, it is not up on my YouTube. Uh, you'll have to see my past broadcast in here. Demi Dick, 17 months. Same and not negative. Thank you guys so much. Both 17. Almost a year and a half. That's insane. Yeah, I am I am very grateful for the for the OG folks who believed in me when I was a a nobody. I still am a nobody, but they believed in me when I was a nobody two years ago. Uh Daredevil is also here. 14 by 71, Shachi, White Ren, VPR, Crippled, Dirt Devil. Wait, I already said Dirt Devil. How cold is it? Are you stuck at home with snow everywhere? Devness, Wilsey, Starch Face. Hello, hello. Yeah, so right now, uh, it got cold to today. The. Yesterday, it was. 90 degrees Fahrenheit so that's uh, that's upper that's 30 something degrees Celsius 30 degrees Celsius 30 something and today this morning it you know the weather you know it's 40 something but the weather report said feels like 29 degrees Celsius outside so that you know feels like below freezing so yeah pretty insane it was such a huge drop. Give me time to peruse your Kiwi Defense website. Oh no, that's not that's not mine. No, um, that's just I used to have kind of an affiliate. It's not even an affiliate thing. It's like a referral thing, and I don't even earn money. I just earn points, and the points are kind of down because. They're like um, coupons you have to spend to use them. It's like, oh, eight dollars off a hundred. I think now it's even less than that. So I should probably just take that down. It's kind of pointless, but I mean, it's there, I guess, yeah. Uh, one of the main ways, because the only way I actually make uh, affiliate money for keyboard stuff is Zeal's website. I get, I think 10%. Yeah, that's the only one. Not official sponsor, just if you use my link, you get, I get 10%. Although, it's kind of weird the way it works because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get more than what I've been getting. Anyway, uh, but if you do want to support the channel, since you talk about KBD fans and uh, the, the websites below, do you use my Amazon link to buy stuff that you don't need? Uh, that would be nice. We'd appreciate it. I don't have ads on my YouTube channel. I'm not sponsored by anyone other than you guys. Not my longtime subscribers and the new subscribers. So that would really help me out, uh, and you get to feel good about you know whatever impulsive purchases you make. Okay, what's well, Reddit is mind blowing so many people. Yes. So many people in fact that that's why I unsubscribe from it. It's just always what happens when subreddits get too big, you know. Quality kinda goes down. PC low letter. Good to see you here. Is it? What what is the weather like in California right now? Or where you're at? Yeah. It's kind of this annoying indoor temperature where when I had just a t-shirt, it was a bit too cold. And I put on a sweater. It's a little too warm. Yeah, it's half plate today. Yeah, and oh, announcements. Again, since we're still doing announcements. No stream on Monday. I have a take home test due the next day, so I'll probably be working on that. Midterms and shit, right? So, no stream Monday. 
I will let y'all know if I do end up streaming that week because I have Android PPT 2048. It's a pretty nice set. And we'll compare it with Imsto Apple. And it's gonna make me regret not buying 2048. Because that shit is so good. Yeah, so we'll do an unboxing for that. Uh, hopefully sometime next week, but not Monday. Not Monday. So just remember no stream Monday. But we are streaming today. We were supposed to stream the EXE65 today. But the stabilizers didn't arrive in time. Whereas the stabilizers with this build arrived in time. So I pushed this one forward. Damn, I don't remember. Quality is high on this stream. Yeah, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's what happens with big subreddits, you know? Like, uh... It's always a shame. Yeah, it, it takes off away any kind of serious discussion or, or, or news, things like that. And then it becomes just a lot of memes and a lot of karma grabbing. Yeah, so I guess that's mostly it. Today we're building the Xeno. As I mentioned, if you haven't seen the unboxing, you should. It's up in my in my Twitch channel with the VOD section. Uh, Analyzing is not very good. The brass parts weren't done very nicely, unfortunately. But today we'll find out how it sounds. So this is the half plate with brass. I am hoping it'll be okay. We'll find out, I guess. So we did the bandage mod for the stabilizers. PCB looks nice in person. Yes, even though it's not like a black black, it's like an off black. Whole subreddit revolves around pure consumerism. Yes. You're white, white Rin. Did I say you're right or did I say you're white? It's so hard to say, you're right, white Rin. You're right, white ring. You're right. Oh, yeah, that's. <laughs> if you have to say it quick, that's difficult. Got my new CTRL upload. Yes. Same thing with the mouse, with the mouse review subreddit. Like it's gone so bad now. Back then, you know, people would actually talk about mice. Uh, like even just even a few months ago. Like not even a, not even two three years ago. We're talking just less than a year ago. You know, people would post their reviews and now you know it's just like hey look what I ordered and you know it's just a picture of the invoice or just a picture of the sh order confirmation like what the hell what kind of you know what kind of content is this Iridius and NGB. Hello, hello. NGB, how are you doing? You've been busy. I haven't seen you much in the Discord at all. That's all. What happened to all the food pictures? Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. That's why the one subreddit I've been really impressed with, it's also because of how strict, kind of strict they are with their system. Is the Goodyear Welt subreddit. So that one is, it says Goodyear Welt, but you know, it's not limited. It's like mechanical keyboards and how you didn't say mechanical keyboards, but really we accept Topra as well, even though it's not technically mechanic. Like, you know, it doesn't use a mechanical switch, right? Uh, so kind of like that uh, Goodyear Welt, it's for, you know, nice stitch down, stitch construction, boots or shoes. Uh, and, uh, and yeah. It's insane. Like I guess just the moderation is really good, and so the content is incredible. The level of the review, the the writing quality, man. Yeah. So it's it's actually helpful and it's a good resource. Whereas you know, like RMK, you're not gonna learn a lot of stuff. You know, you're gonna get misinformed a lot of stuff. 
Every time I go to RMK is if I'm searching for something on a sub. Exactly, yeah, if you need something from there. But of course, if you are starting out, it is still good because at least you get a lot of just... You're inundated with just pictures, so you at least see options. That's good. Been busy work, and our daughter started school soccer. Think about getting in on that Molly GB. I have not read up too much on that goodbye. I've seen the pictures, but I didn't check the keycap thread on it. Yeah, so I hope those that are seeing cold temperatures stay warm those that are in california and la don't die in a towering inferno i like the cold weather i like uh so today was it was a bit too chilly uh, in the evening Slightly, but it's still good. Because yeah. mid sixties in terms of Fahrenheit is where it's at. That's the good shit. So I guess in Celsius it's around fifteen, sixteen. That's perfect temperature. Because Upper 60s and 70s, they feel nice when you're just standing, but if you walk or move, you can actually still break a sweat, you know, you can still start feeling a bit too warm. Whereas, mid 60s, you know, if you're out there walking, you know, it's perfect, feels good. Mm. 60 degrees here. See, that's good. Luckily, it's been cool at night here. Yeah, like I mentioned, the temperature range yesterday was 40 something degrees Fahrenheit. So in Celsius, it was like 25.5 degrees Celsius difference between the lowest and highest temperature for yesterday. Pretty insane. Yeah, and this is in Dallas. It's even worse in Abilene because there's no trees, no anything. Got the bandit mod done. I'm gonna lube these stabilizer wires. New York is coming to Houston. Oh, wait. You mean like the New York Giants? The, the Yankees? They pushed my car. Get in my garage today. Oh, no. Sounds terrible. You said, so you said to drive to work today? I guess, I mean, you're in Canada. You have to, right? Doesn't matter how snowed in you are. You're, ex you know... It's just another Tuesday, okay? Stop being a pansy. Meanwhile, in Texas, if it just ices slightly... Okay, school's cancelled. Everything is cancelled. Texas is cancelled. Everybody stay home. The roads are cancelled. If you go out there, you're gonna get murdered. People don't know how to drive. It's just crazy when you see people just speeding in the rain here because they think that, you know, because they're not used to it back home. When it storms, you know, everyone knows what the fuck's going on because, you know, because of how often it rains back home. You know, everyone tries to be way more careful. Over here, people don't care. Like, they think that they, they have the off-roading or some shit, you know. They still drive at normal. Uh, and not just the speed. So it's... The speed isn't even the worst part. The most important part is the... The, 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 what's called that? Driving distance? No. What is that called? Shit. 
You know, you want to you wanna keep a good pace, right? Uh, good distance between you and the guy in front of you. People here don't do that because they don't realize this. How much worse braking is when the road is just wet and flooded. Yeah, it's bad. It's kind of thing about over here, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't just shower. When it storms, it storms. But it doesn't happen often enough that people people learn things. Buffer zone, I guess so. I guess so. Helpful human. Jerk chicken. Hello. Can you close up how much lube you put on the wires? You just want to get a good coating. Uh, I, I compare it to making fried chicken. You know, when you're trying to put batter all over it you know you want to get good coverage but at the same time you don't want it to pile up you know see so nice nice coverage of this dielectric grease over the wire if you're using 205g0 you need more than this though in my experience because 205g0 is not as uh, viscous as dielectric grease so that one, I think you just have to fucking... That one's easier because you just dunk it, basically. This one, you actually have to control it. I don't know, I wasn't too impressed, but we'll see. I need to do more testing. Reverse threads. Yeah, I mean, people here, you know, the thing is, again, because it's Texas, you know, it doesn't snow enough for people who actually care about you know, having snow tires or things like that because it's mostly warm the whole time and so yeah so when it does happen it's awful because people are not prepared I thought you were talking about the tires it's like, hmm, so type of tires actually people saying to I just some bad on stabs so the thing about the retaining the lube, I can see that. I haven't done testing to, to verify that. I can see that. But I know my first impressions weren't amazing. But because again, like I said, it's not as viscous. Yeah, but I haven't done enough comparisons to do it, to compare it. I haven't done enough comparisons to compare it. It's terrible, terrible sense. When the wire, so yeah, it's not for trying to make it smooth or anything. It's just to fill up the spaces. I will say, I've had uh, some experiences with where the stabilizers did lose the loop and it mostly happens with the space bar when you use many warp space bars i've had that uh, on, on like a few boards so basically when you because the warped wire when you remove the keycap you push it weird and so it ends up shifting the, the grease and stuff and then the way you fix that is you just stick more loop in there like use tweezers or something to fill it back up yeah so that's the only time where i've seen like it actually becomes a problem It's the unnatural movement. It's so weird how quiet it is because I don't have my AC on, I don't have my fan on. The whole apartment doesn't have their ACs running. So it's nice and quiet. Easier to clean up than dilation grease. Oh, for sure. Two, oh, 206. A bit more viscous than 250. I might try that. 206. I might try that with stabilizers then. Yeah, I, 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 the first impression just wasn't good, but yeah, again, I just don't want to try it. Maybe on my own board I'll do it. Because the thing is, on, you know, commission boards, I don't want to do anything too crazy. You don't want to change anything too fast because, you know, people, ex people have expectations. 
Uh, I just don't have time to build my own board. If I build my own board, if I did playlists, I would experiment because you could just replace things by having the desolder. Uh, as stabilized as it is. But yes, hello Gok. Gok, I saw your new pictures for the 7V. It looks amazing. The black. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah, my friend was showing it to me just now. You have a link to the band-aid tape you're using. I don't actually, unfortunately, I bought it at the store. Uh, I can try to look. If you remind me, maybe I can try to look it up. But yeah, it's... The one I have is an inch. You can maybe look for an inch or half an inch. Would be good. Or if you can look for one centimeter thick, that would be perfect. Cause then, cause that's pretty much the space that's in between the, the two stabilizer holes. Smack the shit out of my space bar. Yes, I do the same. That's why I don't do typing tests. And I'm not a fan of typing tests. It's just it's so weird when people are so gentle here. I'm like, oh, come on. You know, no one types like they're watching porn in the room next door to their parents, you know? At least not all the time. Turnstile, hello. How's it going? Man, uh, wish you could have joined us when VPR and I went for lunch. You need to let us know if you ever make the trip to, to DFW. We'll all go out for a meal or two. Do the new chairs tab, scratch it by quite less lubing. New cherry stems. Do you mean the the the, the, the retool the uh, screw in stabilizers? The ones that everyone everyone's avoiding. Anyone wants to buy them? I have a lot of those that I don't want. Black is very really nice in person. I like it over the navy, but I prefer using PPT caps. I agree. PPT is awesome. Not all PPT is great though, unfortunately. You know, for example. But don't tell anyone. I'm still trying to sell mine. <laughs> I wish I had sold all mine before I I I, I put up and initial impressions and review. <laughs> I really should have done that. The hype was fresh. Gawk, I, I think I've decided on just going with the black for 7V. Because at first I wasn't sure when I saw the initial pictures of the prototype but then after I saw the pictures and I'm like man that looks good that look good real good taking it away from Jim K quality and consistency unmatched just like the high price I have not bought a GMK set since Hemon. It's kind of sad, actually. I wanted to buy Striker, I wanted to buy Metropolis, and I just forgot <laughs> the deadline. <laughs> but I forget, actually. I remember, I knew I wanted to buy a night, and I fell asleep or something like that. I know for Metropolis that happened. I fell asleep a bit too early. So right before, I was going to buy it, like, you know, before midnight, and I fucking just fell asleep. Then again, E White Proto Next. GMK feels oily and sticky to me after they're shined. That's what uh, Himmelbrother told me actually. 
So, Hammer Brother is one of the oldest subs on this channel. Uh, he's not here yet. I wonder where he is. He messaged me, talking to me about that. He said that... And so he asked me if JTK would be a good ABS alternative. Because he said that playing GMK, is they, they feel great to him at the start. And then once they start shining, he doesn't like yeah, how sticky it feels. And he says that his you know just body chemistry type, he, he shines them really fast. And so he said, you know, can I just do JTK? And I'm like, ah, I don't think, you know, I don't think you're going to have a much better time doing, using JT, JTK. I might even say it feels sticky, but I don't know. And so I guess he's stuck to buying PBT. NGP, no, unfortunately, no new LEGO. I'm waiting for Black Friday. So hopefully, hopefully, because that's why I haven't streamed any LEGO builds, just because I haven't bought any. Uh, the last one I bought, the last one I built was the... Brick Bank, and I just haven't bought any since. So, waiting for Black Friday. Got some good deals. Because last Black Friday, I bought three sets, I think. So, you finished the Stranger Things set. Oh, yes. Yeah, Gawk. Uh, he and his girlfriend bought the. I almost said Willy Wonka. Um, Steamboat Willy set. See what Willy, and then they have the. Oh, what is it called? Oh no, I can't remember the name. Not not Transformers. Fuck, what is the name? Not Thundercats. Voltron. Voltron. Yes, they have Voltron, and they also have Stranger Things. So good. The Stranger Things one actually. I don't know why. One, I have a friend who who really doesn't like it. Actually, I should probably message him. Where he is. Yeah. I, I think it's nice. I think it's cool. The whole upside down build seems cool. It's unique enough, you know. So it doesn't feel substantial for the money. You no, know, like the piece count is fine, you know, the price to piece pretty good. Or at least average. Yeah, I have so many things I need to. I'm planning on streaming soon. I still haven't streamed Borderlands 3 yet. I feel kind of bad for not doing that. The problem actually is well, the main reason why I haven't streamed Borderlands 3 actually is because it keeps crashing. I can't even alt tab um, during loading screens. It mostly crashes when I do that. So I'm just afraid that if I do stream it before they fix it, you know, I'm just going to get so pissed off. They just stutter and crash if I have OPS running. Yeah, I found out my, my 7700K is struggling. Feels bad, dude. It's one of the worst generations to buy, actually. This is right before the 8000 series. You see the Pirate Bay that made it in the last... No! Uh, my, the last idea section, I might have seen that one. At first, I thought you meant Pirate Bay as in the website. But yes, the little Pirate Bay, yes. Then I, I remember seeing that. Voltron was a fun build. Did it with my dad and six-year-old daughter for several days. Miles is fine. Is also here. Hello? Yeah, because of people asking me to stream just some simple cooking shit. And then I'm planning on... Just doing other crafts, crafting stuff. So maybe letter working or something. It's a thought. It's a thought. Just think that that'll be a good uh, side thing to do. Because that one calls a lot of attention to detail. So, would be good. Be fun. I wonder if I should get a blue or white 7V. I'll get a black one and sell my Xeno. The last one. Do the last one. VPR, you should do that too. 
I'm just worried about the white because I still, so far, I still haven't seen a white board that I've been impressed with. At least up close. In terms of just stuff that I've seen in person, I think the white seven, uh, E7. But the thing is, I didn't get to see it really close though. I just got to see it just at a meetup. So it's kind of, uh, kind of doesn't count, you know. Tie out cubic. It's black on white, right? Not white and black. People had great results sandblasting ABS for a sort of texture. Also, hello, Hangman. Hello, hello. Uh, honestly, if mine starts shine, if ABS starts shiny, I'd rather buff them all to make the make them all shiny than to restore the texture. Because if you restore the texture, it's gonna go back to being shiny again. White Doro sixty seven is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, because the, the white boards I've seen. You know, I had the Chiwi. That one wasn't E-White though, I think. That one was just powder coated. But that one had other issues. So that one might not even have been a coating problem. That was probably... Because even the metal, the CNC itself was rough. Good old Douyu Studio. Oh well. They had a lot of... Issues, but yeah. White is a very difficult color to work with. Cause the white, the e-white uh, MK2 8x looks pretty bad in some pictures. So you're building the Xeno with no yellows. This is another Xeno. So I'm supposed to build at least two Xenos. At least. Cause I think the third one is gonna just get sold. Yeah. So the other one is for Turnstile. Uh, sadly, that one still no sign of shipping. So, kind of sucks. The chicken is an Asian man. Yes. People are drawing comparisons <laughs> between me and him. That's racist, bro. He's like the bougie version of me, you know? <laughs> I'm the, I'm the blue collar zeal. Rama's white looks nice. I haven't seen one in person though. That's the thing, yeah. Uh, you really have to see them in person to, to, to judge them. That's the problem. And even seeing them in person, sometimes it's kind of hard unless you, you, you actually, you know, have it with you and you have time to actually look at it. I'll show you here's a white dude. The thing is, back then, before Zeus started all that, there, there you know, he had one video to actually learn some looping, uh, some stabilizer modding from. Yeah, so I was always aware. And I still remember in that video, uh, there's a lady that was in their same office building that stops by and says, oh, I really like that lamp. Where did you buy that lamp from? And I, I can't remember whether it was Imagine or Cantonese. It might have been in Cantonese. Yeah, it's such a random detail, but I remember that. Yeah, oh, I really like that lamp. Where did you buy that lamp? Let's think about this hobby, though. Assume people are Asian unless... Say that otherwise, or proven otherwise.
What about other hobbies are like that? So I think even something like, you know, if you had a chopstick, competitive chopsticks community, it would still be dominated by white people. <laughs> They're the only people who are actually proud of their chopstick skills. I can use chopsticks. Yes, bird. Hello. Good to see you here. Mouse is fine. Thank you. Yes. We need more Asians who agree that chopsticks are overrated. They are good for some things. Don't get me wrong. And for some types of food, they are the best utensil. For example, sushi. Eating with fork, bad. Eating with spoon, bad. Knife, what the fuck are you doing? Chopsticks, good. Everything else, bad. Dim sum, it's kind of the same deal, chopsticks, because if you eat traditional dim sum, it's gonna come in this little bamboo, almost like a basket, it's like a container, where because they, they put in a steam rack, and so this little thing, and so if you use a fork or whatever, and there's a lot of soft texture, so you can just use a fork to stab it, it'll break the, the skin or whatever, uh, and you can just use a spoon to scoop it, because, you know, it's in this weird container. So yeah, chopsticks again, the best but in general you know, for general use yeah no fork and spoon best combo unbeatable they're the most uh, flexible Filipinos there's no fucking knife to eat with spoon and fork yes Filipinos are smart they know what's up because most things, a spoon, most foods you eat, a spoon is be better than having a knife, right? How often are you going to eat a nice steak, right? Not very often. Now, especially if you're Asian, how often are you going to eat rice? Every day. So, spoon makes sense. No, even your hands, you can't be too flexible though, because even rice is a struggle. You know. The Indians are no, it's good. Cause no, no, it's <laughs> purple seven ten. Hey, how's it going? You know you weren't supposed to use your hands for sushi. You can, but with chopsticks, you can have longer reach. Don't mind to match my Ninox Astrum. Need a show signs of shipping. Oh, wasn't it the was it on Kickstarter? I remember it was like a huge thing, right? And then whoops, debated. Okay, so let's test the stabilizers. How do you struggle to eat rice with your hands? Compared to a spoon, yes, it is a struggle. No, that's why fork and a spoon. So you're eating spaghetti, just use the fork and a spoon. You know, you grab some of that, 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 bolognese. Oh my god, I actually hate sporks. This my favorite Indian place here uses. They only have sporks. It's the only place I know of that only has sporks. Yeah, so they just have sporks, and it's so annoying. It's the ultimate compromise. Maybe people should start using that as like an insult, you know? It's such a spork, you know? You try to do so much that you don't go to anything. Shit, am I a spork? Maybe I am a spork. Feels bad. Okay, so I think we're having one problem right now. I don't know if you notice. See how the plate doesn't grip the switches perfectly? 
Right now, at least. Okay. There's just one switch, you know, there's two switches, I guess. But it just doesn't have that hard, you don't hear that hard clip sound. And then it just easily just falls off. But the thing is, it's going to be top mount. So you're not really going to run into an issue of where the plate just falls right off because most of the time, the, the weight, gravity is going to help you out, right? So I wouldn't worry too much about it. But right now, when you're building, you have to be careful. Because yeah, it just falls. I'm sure once you put more switches, should be fine. But for now, yeah. Something to be mindful about when you're building it. Plastic sporks maybe dude that's the thing. That's the thing about the Indian place. It's only plastic sporks. And another thing about the sporks is that the fork end is just too short and the spoon is not deep enough. So it just sucks for everything. You know? You can't really grab anything with it. You can't eat noodles or anything like that with it. You can't really poke anything with it. You can't stab anything. And you can't really spoon anything because it's not deep. The dish of the spoon spork isn't deep and wide enough. So it just does nothing. You can see how the plate keeps trying to pop off. This is probably recent Zeal switches, even in place that fit Ceramix fine. Zeal's been talking about new bottom housings for switches in its Discord. Get on switches in general, do this for me. <laughs> Real bad quality control with Zeal products that play so busted. Yes! Fucking cheaping out, man. What happened to the whole damn plate? The middle of the plate. I'd be interested to see if it does the same thing in non. Mm -hmm. It used to be a spork, but instead of four prongs, it's just a one prong right in the middle, really long, really sharp. Actually, yes. I don't know why they try to put too many prongs in sporks. Now I think about it. Just one or two would be good. Instead of having like three or some... Sh of, yeah, even two is too much. Because of how small it is and how shallow it is. But you don't want it too long, though. Because otherwise things will fall right out. But yes, I agree. The general spork design is terrible. Especially plastic ones. Oh, Demi Dick, are you still here? Uh, stepped or centered caps lock. In a place I went to last time was pretty good. Audio from the TV announcing got old fast. Yes. I don't even remember the tone. I'm gonna go there this weekend, I think. We'll see. I haven't been there in so long. Gonna like a month maybe. Center? Okay, good. I like you. Cultured man. I wonder if the new Zeal bottom housing will have loose leaf issues like the inks. So what what uh did he mention what changes are gonna be coming for the new bottoms? It's good to know before I buy any switches to build with. Spoof. Yeah, you should have a spork and then one side is sharp. When you're trying to eat with it, you're eating with a knife, basically.
Yeah, I sent a, a, a bag of like a dozen lube switches to Ingsbird. <laughs> and... It's like, oh my god. The ticking is so bad. Yes. I told you guys I'm not the only one that can detect the issue. I'm not crazy. Lena is also here. Long time no see. All blacked out. Oh, the 7V, yes. It's so nice. The uh, textured, kind of textured, right? Kind of matte black aluminum. And then kind of matte satin, I guess. And then the shiny PVD black. Yeah, I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get him to 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 make um, extra badges with different materials. Imagine making a copper one to go with a black or a white board. Oh, even even copper or rose gold and navy would be very nice. Very nice. Or, or Gawk, if you want to make more money, what you do is you sell the 7V first, and then you run another group buy like a few months down the road for just the different ones. It's like a DLC, right? <laughs> or, or don't, sh or like, you know, if, if you're EA, you know, you would ship just the cases, and then like six months later, you ship the plate. <laughs> you, you make a group buy for just the plate, and then another six months later, you make a group buy just for the PCB. You don't get the finished product in, in the first run. I'm putting the space in the right spot. Yes. People are already requesting L's from my wife. Very nice. Wait, from from where? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, because of Christmas coming, I completely forgot that Christmas coming up. I was like, oh man, are, are people on you know our Discord asking for you know the L's? No. Where's mine? It's still here. It's up there. Do you see it? I never took it down. <laughs> so it's I'm ready for Christmas. See, right there, beside the panda that I got from God's now wife. No, when I went to LA, they insisted that I brought it back. I can't remember if I had to carry it or not. I think that was the original plan. They wanted me to carry that panda back. And I think I just stuffed it in my suitcase. That's so racist, right? Hey, you're Chinese, right? You must like pandas. I think you would have tossed it by now because it's haunted. Yes. I wonder if it's a voodoo doll. What if? Maybe I should try poking it with a needle. Or with a switch pin. I'm used to that pain. I've been opening up a bunch of box switches and I, I only stabbed myself in the thumb 26,000 times in an hour have to be raffle group buys just for ultimate troll yes so the first board is just so you know you try to sell the 7v and the initial release would be just the case and it's a victory auction and then the plate will also be a victory auction and the PCB will also be a victory auction 
Panda peed on my friend's sister, and now she's into gold. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what did I just read? Could have taken him as a carry-on. Uh, the panda? Yes, that was the plan, but I just stuffed him in my suitcase. Yeah, the panda actually has a little blanket on the inside. It's kind of weird, right? It's like yanking someone's insides out. Cover yourself. Just pre-build auto 7v and then put them on victory auction example on different for him. Oh yes. Hey Gok, if you want to work with me on this, we can do it. It's cheaper to ship out the victory auction stuff from here too. Victory all the goddamn things. I'll victory off my a patina bidet. Okay, so it's nice to see that the pins fit tightly into the PCB. Bit tight, but they do fit, so that's nice. Uh, but yes, you, you see, you have to be very careful with the plate. See how it wants to lift off the switches do you see that see my nail is underneath the the wing I guess the tabs of the switches so even if I pull it up it just naturally just wants to drop a little off I think it's just a little warped right and it doesn't grip the switch tightly enough. Yeah, so just be careful when you're building it. Don't want to. You, you you definitely don't want this to happen. <whistles> Parallel PCB and plate. Maybe that's why he thought when he saw that uh. I don't have it trademarked, but you know, it's it's a thing for my build services. I have switch alignment and I have parallel PCB and plate TM. And yeah, this is very parallel. Super parallel. You can even say they're on top of each other. Well, you can't be on top of each other, right? Or one is on top of the other. Yeah, so this thing has a blocker, right? Damn it. So, just 1.25 is correct. <laughs> Hammer Brother, hello. We were just talking about, so Gok was telling us about how he doesn't like how sticky GMK feels after they get shiny. Yeah, and you were just talking to me about that a few days ago. I think two days ago, maybe. Or was it yesterday? I don't remember. When we see the rebuild. Soon. TM. I'll let y'all know when I do get to it. Yeah, because right now I have a few other projects to finish first. You can see, so you want all the switches nice and flush. Look at that. Oh, that feels so good. Little nipples are just touching the top of the PCB. I don't know what you call them. You know, you just call them corner bumps and people are like, oh, it's not a bump. Little pointy things. 
Yeah, let's see. So you want those all lined up nicely on the PCB. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, right, for the space dog, we're supposed to use a heavier spring. Hold on. Wow. Almost forgot. Yes, because we have these. Are good. I use 85 gram. Oops. It was just yesterday? Okay. Yeah. I remember that's two days ago. Damn it. We're in the market for a used bidet. <laughs> yes. It's worn, it's broken in for you. The nice thing is I don't do switch alignment for this. Super great. I love it. It should be illegal to do split back space on anything bigger than 60%. test the other stabilizers we've tested the space bar it works yeah, make sure nothing rattles because my skin doesn't shine GMK that quickly must be all the fried chicken grease yes it's protecting <laughs> the caps from from your finger oils I do have my 65% not 75% or higher which is weird, right? Should be illegal to do split backspace period. Yes. I mean, it does, it does objectively look better on a 60% keyboard. I'm not gonna lie. It does look better. It looks, it looks a lot better than a full backspace. Right? Uh, if, if, it depends. It depends on the keycaps, right? But most of the time it does look better. Yeah, not even, I'm not even gonna and I agree it looks better, but yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, it really depends on how you hit this, the backspace. If you use a ring, if you use a ring finger, then yeah, you just can't do it. Which is what you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to use a ring finger. But I do it, unfortunately. Okay, so how should we go about this? You guys can go ahead and just solder. Make sure the plate is straight first, and then we'll solder the rest. Yes, I think that's a good strategy. It's a good strategy. They should, uh, the next Joker should have Will Ferrell. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be so bad. Do you wanna know how I got these guys? He's just fucking shouting every line. I've not seen Joker, no. I have not been to the cinema in a long time. The last show I watched was Solo. Like, no, I went on my own. No, I'm uh, uh, Solo as in that Star Wars, Star Wars spin-off thing with Emilia Clarke. I watched it only because of Emilia Clarke. No, uh, I watched it because my friends bought my ticket already, so I had to go. That was a long time ago. When was that? Holy shit, that was a long time ago. When was Solo out in theaters? Damn. That was last summer. Was that really the last movie I watched? I think so. Holy fuck. Yep. Yeah. It's been that long. I should go watch something. 
I keep saying I'm gonna do it. I never end up doing it. Silvertone said, I like Solo. It was enjoyable. Uh, I, I didn't get the, the hate for it. Like, it wasn't awful, right? I, I, I mean, it wasn't amazing, but... Then again, I didn't pay for that movie, so maybe that's why. Probably still be better than Jared Leto. I actually haven't seen his Joker. I just saw Heath Ledger, that was it. It's just hard to match Heath Ledger, right? Was it because he died after that, so he's immortalized. If you have Hulu, watch Free Solo. That doc is nuts. I don't have Hulu, unfortunately. Uh, I wish I did, because I think SNL is on Hulu. One second. God, all that cocaine. I mean, sinus problems. <laughs> this is my least favorite part about the cold weather. <laughs> my nose does not like it at all. Because my skin as well. It gets too dry. One of the worst is when it's so dry, your skin, uh, especially on your hands, crack. And then they bleed. And when they bleed, you can't immediately put lotion over it, over an open scar, right? I think. I think you're not advised to do that. So you're like, damn it, I need to put lotion on it to stop, you know, it getting worse. But I can't just put lotion over the the, 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 the open wound. Open wound, not open scar. Or when it gets so dry, your, your legs start itching. At least for me. Ever dance with the devil in the dark moon night? No. Solo was supposed to explain how he became a badass with a bunch of skills, but he already had all the skills and was already a badass and we started, so what's the point of the movie? Again, I said as a thing on its own, it was alright, and again, I didn't go with any expectations because it wasn't something I wanted to watch. So then I was just, hmm, okay. And I think I went in expecting it to be terrible. So maybe that's why I ended up being okay with it. It wasn't god awful. Shout out to Baby Bangkok. Hello, hello. How's it going? Give her a follow on Instagram if you want. I want it. Oh, yes. Soldering. It is chilly. Very chilly. With this fan on, my hands are very cold. Mark Hamill is the best Joker. I like Solo, says Silver Tones. People hated that it was generic, but his origin story was generic in the first place. Nah. I, I I've stopped following the Star Wars world ever since I came to the U.S. I was a huge Star Wars fan uh, growing up. All right, I would read the 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 I guess graphic novels, what do you call them, and I would read the illustrated you know like encyclopedias and all the guidebooks and things like that. And 
and I don't know how much of it is just the contrarian in me, you know? That's always something that annoys me. I'm like, do I really not like this? Or do I, am I just not liking it because too many people are liking it? But yeah, I came, I came here and then there's a lot of Star Wars fans that just... And, and, you know, I hate to be like a gatekeeper or whatever, but at least... At least the keyboard crowd typically is fine, you know, because you know, most of the most of you guys are a bit, you know, on the on the nerdier side, so you know, you you can you can actually say that you're a Star Wars fan. But my problem was that I was in college and you know, people were like, oh, I'm a, I'm a total Star Wars geek. Oh my god, love Star Wars. Oh my god, you know, I dressed up as Leia last, you know, or I dressed up as this Jabba the Hutt. Um, and really, when we talk to them, you know. All they know about Star Wars is from the movies. I'm like, no, like, you don't have to form your whole identity around it. You know, you can say you like it. You know, you don't have to say like, I'm like the biggest fan of Star Wars. Like, no, you're not. And I hate that it becomes almost like a dick measuring contest, right? That's why I just decided to just not to just pull out. <laughs> yeah, uh, the thing that kind of drove it home for me was I was with uh, my circle of friends uh, who were at the cafeteria it was back in Abilene right and so they were self-confessed huge Star Wars fans and you know they're all af af kind of athletic people you know not really nerdy t the nerdy type but anyway uh, and this again I'm not trying to be a gatekeeper so, oh I sound so elitist maybe I am but so they were you know like always really serious about Star Wars and and you know, they made sure they would make it to the premiere, you know, of all the new films. And we had a, we had kind of, no one said an argument, but so I said, you know, like, oh, you know, like, to talk about Star Wars 4, and I mentioned that, oh, actually, Star Wars 4 was not known as Star Wars 4 when it was re released. It was just Star Wars. They kind of added the 4 after that, and then decided on the whole, like, okay, we'll do 4 and then 5, 6, and then 1, 2, 3, things that like it came after, right? That was not the original plan. And like, no, 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 it released as Star Wars 4. You know, it released as Star Wars 4 with the title. Uh, and I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure it was released as just Star Wars. And, you know, back and forth arguing. And again, these were the guys who were like, yeah, I'm a Star Wars. And then, of course, you know, they looked it up and I was right. And. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's kind of. That's kind of what did it for me. I think the problem was more just like, you know, people all say they're super big fans of Star Wars and you can't, you don't know how much they actually do like Star Wars. So I guess that was kind of the annoying part. Didn't know it was snowing in Anthony's house with the skiing. Oh, yes. A lot of white stuff. That white powder. But yeah, so instead of, you know, trying to be a dick about it, I just decided to just not follow Star Wars closely anymore. Kind of sad. I still buy Star Wars Lego sets. Some. Han Solo keyboard when? Yeah, we need some proper Star Wars themed sets. Or just keyboards, right? With that aesthetic.
One nice thing of a half plate over a full plate is that if you need to replace any stabilizers, you don't have to desolder all the switches. You'll desolder whatever the plate's holding on to, you know. So that's the nice part. Man, that's the annoying thing about Star Wars theme sets. It's like, oh man, think of all the cool stuff. Let's do Stormtrooper. It's like, dude, why? We could have just easily bought a black on white or a white on black set and just mixed them. I'm like, no, it's different, okay? This one says Stormtrooper in the title. Now, I'm usually sick of base sets, but if they made a General Grievous set, I'll, I'll fucking buy that shit. See, I think it's not even about keycap set, right? they just made a board with that aesthetic. C3PO would be good too. Just ordered Dracula today, long and way too many add on kits. So, what did you end up getting other than the base kits? I am still on the fence about that set. I think my friend might end up buying it, so maybe I'll just not buy it, maybe. The way I see it is uh, if, if I have local friends who are buying a set, I just I just won't buy it. You know, I, I get to see it, so I don't need it. I like 909, I know everyone does, and so we're done. I like it. Uh, the, the thing is, have you seen the 909 IKEA furniture? <laughs> they they have some setups with that aesthetic where it's cream and then they have the desaturated or the, the, the pale green and the pale pink. Yeah, they have at least one display room like that at uh, the IKEA that I go to. It actually looks really good. I like it way more in, in furniture than on keyboards. Your friend of me has that friend. I moved away from. To buy it on a fancy cost. Oh no 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 yeah, not you. It's uh it's another friend. But yes, it would have been two people. Would have. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see about that. Yeah, cause my the other friend I was referring to, I think the problem is that the set might be a bit too purple-ish, maybe. The highlight night mode white space space our kit. You mean coral? Is trying to grow on me? Yes, it says totally coral. So coral. Ooh. Hmm. It does look nice. If Mito cra uh, caves, that's a craze, caves and makes his Greek theme set white I, with white alphas, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. I'm I'm gonna be so mad. I won't I won't buy it. <laughs> so mad. Dadosh. Yes, exactly. Vote with your wallet, guys. <laughs> yes, Sandstorm. Wait, this is a group I over. You made it sound like it's over. It's not over yet, right? I'm still thinking about that one. Yeah, I haven't read the whole conversation yet because I was out at dinner when you tagged me, Moss is fine. But I did see your thing about how it's upvoted by 15 or 16. Oh my god. Why? Why are people so dumb? If you just want a white or cream, just, just buy Godspeed, I guess. To be fair. To be fair. 
He still needs to make a chair profile Godspeed set. I agree. I totally agree. Nito needs to make a chair profile Godspeed set. I hope he makes it after the after I sell my MT3 stuff. But he does. Because I would buy that shit. I actually would. Even though it would be in a cream or white base. Mm -hmm. Mito wasn't giving me fan Discord getting suggestions. Sandstorm is over? Fuck. God damn it! <laughs> I guess I guess I'm not buying it. And PBT Godspeed would be amazing. I, that's why I said chair profile. I didn't say GMK. Because if he did PBT, I would fucking buy that shit. GMK, I would actually think about it. Maybe. Right? If I bought it GMK, I probably wouldn't use it. I would just buy it just to look at it. But enjoy PBT, I would actually fucking use it. Damn it. I wanted to see Sam, Sandstorm in person. I, I've, I completely forgot. I just haven't kept up. I've been so busy. My wife and kid are in Florida until Tuesday. Oh boy. Oh boy. Time to bring out the lotion. Because <laughs> the air is drying up. You know, winter. Gotta... Stay hydrated, boys. CRP round two. Redrun is official now, by the way. The problem is until they they fix the texture and maybe even the plastic, I, I wouldn't buy them. I don't know. I, I, I guess if they did fix all the crookedness, I, I might actually consider it just because the legends were pretty good. Uh, alignment wasn't perfect though, surprisingly. But, you know, hopefully that stuff has been improved. You know, working with a new manufacturer is always trying to make a completely new product, it's always difficult. And that sometimes I wish that Hammer had more time to hammer out the issues with his 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 own uh, keycaps, right? Bef because I, I'm pretty sure he was he felt a lot of pressure uh, from Master and from customers, right? Because it was supposed to be BSP, and then you know miscommunication, everything that fell through. So. You know, he probably would have, because Hammer makes good stuff, so I'm sure he or the team would have wanted to spend more time to perfect it, but you know, probably felt time constraints and like, hey, you're already late, you know, you're already, you know, people are already mad that there weren't updates, that, you know, that they're not going to get a BSP product, and so I'm pretty sure, you know, he just kind of, the, towards the end, he had to rush it. Yeah, cause yeah, I really wish he he had more time to improve the set before distributing it. Sandstorm being one of those sets I regret skipping, but the renders didn't do anything for me. Uh, yeah, I can't think of it. I don't even know why I put it on. <laughs> Maybe if I have a beige keyboard. Twitch needs an edit button. Yes, I agree. So it just looks like you're spamming, you know? Lot 2 Sandstorm? Ooh. Oh, maybe change the address. Oh, uh, I meant to ask. Did you ship out the left arrow key? I just got your package for the... It's over here. I just picked it up today. Sandstorm, we're gonna blue board. Yes, I agree. Especially the the type of desaturated blues, like a Mira might be good. The blue might actually work well with Sandstorm. Maybe. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Don't. 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 Don't feel like I'm rushing. I'm. I was just wondering if I'm supposed to, because sometimes packages get uh, dropped off at my leasing office, and they're really bad about telling me when I get packages. So it's annoying. Uh, and when I do get packages, they don't tell me how many. So if people don't tell me that, you know, they've shipped stuff out, it's it's kind of annoying because if I don't pick them up, they don't tell me and they will actually return the packages if I don't pick them up in like a week. 
And so if no one tells me that I got something, and they get annoyed if I'm like, hey, do I have packages? So like, uh, you don't. And I'm like, you didn't even check. Yeah, so. Uh, so yeah, so sometimes when people don't tell me, they ship stuff out like, and then, you know, like three weeks later, hey, did you get it? I'm like, get what? <laughs> You know, no one told me to expect anything. It just got bounced back. You find a padded envelope. If you buy a lot of stuff from, if you have boxes from novel keys, you can just use that as well. Cause you actually don't save a lot going with padded envelopes. Like they actually end up costing about the same. If you just do first class. It just ends up being just first class package anyway. So, cause yeah, cause if it's not flat, it's already not gonna be counted as uh, an envelope. So you might as well just use, you know, like the novel keys boxes, just do first class, slap it on. Check out, Sandstone would be nice on my Umbra. Oh, that would've looked good. Yeah, you need, you definitely need something more desaturated as a brown. That's why I, I can't think of like, you know, anything I have that would really match it. Like if I, oh, you know what? If I do end up keeping this, Sandstorm would, might look good on it. All right, the, the champagne and burnt bronze. So you go from burnt bronze to champagne to that sandstorm color with the brass plate. Oh man, that might actually be good. Shit, I really don't want to keep this thing. I should sell it, but. Oh man! Yep, that would be nice. I sh I should sell it, but the color the color combo is so nice though. It's a TX ninety five, the first version. So we bought the shitty, shit, and I actually have an aluminum plate as well. I have. Two plates, two PCBs for it. If anybody, anybody. I have an aluminum plate and a brass plate. Now, the problem is, I don't know where I put the weight insert. Cause I packed it up when I moved and I'm pretty sure it's somewhere here, but I have no idea what box it's in. And so if I do sell it, I'll probably have like a little thing where it's just, if I don't ship you the weight within like this amount of time, I will return you the money or either that or you have the option to buy the weight, you know. Cause yeah, I cannot find the thing for it. The, the little insert in the bottom. I, just, I have no idea. It's it's in some box, probably in my storage or uh, either in my closet or out in the storage. It's somewhere here. I just have no idea where it is. Yeah, it's probably packed up. Cause I I remember wrapping it up and everything, and then I packed it separately. Cause I didn't want to damage it. Cause I sent it into Cerakote around the time I moved. So I had it all packed, or I, yeah, circled it, yeah, shortly before I moved from my old apartment. So I remember the parts was just packed separately because I had to re take the weight out before sending it in to get circled So yeah, so it's somewhere. So that's the reason why I haven't posted it up on Market because I haven't been able to find, find it. I haven't had time to dig through all my stuff yet. Sandstone chocolate tofu. I don't know about the chocolate tofu, that's the thing. It could be decent, cause the thing about the about sandstorm is it looks like it has a like it looks like it match better with like green stuff, you know. Like with olive would be very nice, and so it has that sort of feel to it, and the tofu does not match well with the olive stuff at all, cause it's more, it's more because it's metallic, right? So and so it's. A bit desaturated. It doesn't have. It's not a greenish brown at all. It's not a. a yeah, not a greenish brown. Whereas burnt bronze and that champagne would look good with it. That'll match well with you know anything that goes well with olive. Any opinions on York purple trash pandas? I mean. Aren't they just recolored stuff? If you oh oh, are you asking about just the switch itself? 
and you're not trying to put Halo stems in them. If you're talking about just the Switch itself, I have no idea. Because traditionally, so the thing I did like about the Yawk Polar Pandas, I actually really like the springs they use inside. Uh, they feel really snappy. So when I lubed Holy Pandas with them, I made Holy Pandas with them, they felt really nice because the springs were nice and snappy. Yeah, so most people buy them to swap the stems out anyway. And so, you know, if the stock springs are good, man, it's real nice. Yawk Purple Tactile versus the other Yawks, which are linear. Yeah, so I have not tried the Yawk Purples. So, wouldn't be able to answer that question. But, Yawk, but yes, the springs, very important because I was just so surprised at how good the stock uh, Polar Panda springs were. It just felt so nice. You gotta make sure everything's nice and flush. Push them in. Face be flashy. <laughs> yes, totally. Already thinking like a god. You should rename yourself to VPRs here. <laughs> so, are we just gonna use white and black GMK on this board? That shit looks so good on black keyboards. Mediocre pudding, thank you so much. 16 months, I, re I really, really appreciate it. I always make sure to mention it because I know how much $5 is in India. All right, as someone from Malaysia, I know $5 is a lot. Um, so, thank you so much, 16 months. I hope you're doing well, friend. Currency exchange is a bitch.
Let people mostly stop flipping their space bars. Oh my god, yes. I will say that has been a very, very good thing. It, it feels real good. People also have stopped using wrist rest as much. And back then, everyone. End game! And, you know. I have that fucking 60% keyboard and the wrist rest that they think is, you know, specially handmade. And it's just something that people just, you know, rebadge from. AliExpress or Taobao Flip space bar What's the status on jelly keys? I have not I've not kept up with jelly key at all. How about a 21 months? Thank you, thank you. Man, with all the OG, all the stream grandpas here. Oh, right. Look at Hammer Brothers Flare. That's new, I believe. Hold on. Is that new? I think so, right? Hold on. Let me look up. Where is Hammer Brother? Can you say something in chat real quick? Uh, I don't know how far I have to scroll up. Damn it. Yes. Oh, no, wait, no. Wait, that's... Wait. Yes. See? Founder. So I believe you are the oldest sub. Because uh, I believe, I want to say Chris is always upset was the first sub, but I think he, he didn't get a streak or like he, I guess it kind of counts that way, sort of. Where, you know, you have to be a, like, this many... Like, it's, I don't know what their metric is. But is it just first 10? So is it just anyone in the top 10? I can't remember what it is. Because this is my first time seeing the... Because it's new. So... So I don't know if, if say... If, if Chris is upset subs, does he count as... Because I believe he was technically first. Remember that was top... Three, I want to say first three actually. I think he was second or third. I can't remember. But yes, I really wish I could find out what, who the founders are. So you know, I really hope I can give them. You know, I hate that I can't do giveaways for only subs, but I guess I could do it for only the founders, right? That wouldn't count as gambling because even if you join now, you can't count as a founder. Yeah, so I think... Because, yeah, because that's kind of the problem is that in some states, it counts as gambling if you do a raffle where only subs can join. Because, you know, you have to pay to enter, kind of. Whereas if you're just founder, you've already paid and someone can't pay to join, right? Because there's already just these 10 people. I don't think God is number one, actually. So he might be the oldest... Um, sub as in most number of months but he was not the first he was actually definitely top first 10 but not the first actually number one customer though oh shit god damn it I was not paying attention uh TTM Henchman hello how much longer are you streaming uh, six more inch no Definitely more than 30 minutes, so get back to work. I'll still be here. Don't worry. I doubt we'll even get to the sound test in 30 minutes, maybe. So I'll still be here. I'll see you in 30 minutes. I look like such a fucking pleb now. Man, so I wonder if. For people like God, will he just have extra flares? Because he already has four flares. So will he also get the first thing? I should ask him. Will he get five flares? Cause yeah, because he has Twitch staff. Uh, he has moderator. Subscriber. Uh, 
and Twitch Prime. So if he has the first one as founder as well, does that give him five? Chokan is the oldest of. You gotta tear him. Yeah, he's forty-two or three now. Last time he was forty-two. The last time he celebrated his birthday. That's neat. Glad to have been able to support as a founder. You got me into this hobby deep. Yes. Even got you analyzing your your uh, case anodizing. It's I will say it's weird though that this is the only hobby I've been in where people get ridiculed for trying to spot flaws and things like that. Right? It's it's just strange. This is the only hobby I've been in. Ooh, why are you, you know, like, you can't expect anything to be perfect. You know, you know, in a lot of other hobbies, you know, like, just, you know, like I said, you know, I've been looking at a lot of uh, letter goods and people, you know. Of course, you know, it doesn't mean you, get, you have to return everything. It's just slightly not perfect. You know, it really depends on the price point. But, but you know, you still want to have the attention detail. You're like, oh, hey, there's, you know. The, the, the clicking wasn't good, you know, the way they picked up the letters or whatever, or like, you know, there's there's a loose grain here, the welt joint isn't very good, or the stitching isn't very good, things like that, you know. People will have to keep paying attention to that. And it doesn't mean you have to, you know, like, oh, the product is bad because of that. But, you know, you gotta, you know, that's how you look at goods. And, you know, whereas in this hobby, you're expected to just be okay with flaws. And then people are like, well, you know, it's a price point. Yeah, you know, like, the problem is when cheaper things can have better quality control. That's when you're like, hey, you know, what am I paying for? And even then, it's, we're just, you know, I get in trouble for just calling things. Like, it's just literally just like showing things to people. Like, hey, look at this, look at this. That's why, yeah, it, it definitely gets exhausting. Cause it's not like you know I'm just giving opinions, right? I'm everything that I mention, I make sure to show it on camera so that you know people people can see it for themselves, and you can decide if you still want to buy it. Right? Yeah, but people are weird. People are weird about it. Soji Osu, hello, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good this Friday evening. Chokan does look like he's 21. He looks younger than I do. And I and I look like a kid. So I found the icon look like it has the first thing. So if you look at Harry Brother, he should have it. I've seen golf for some time. Yeah. He he's he's keeping himself busy. If, if you saw Chokan on stream, <laughs> it's crazy. I look so goddamn old compared to him. And I'm Asian. Yeah, it's that Japanese diet, for sure. For sure, that's why that's why they live so long. It's that goddamn diet. Green tea. No, not even sesame chicken, dude. That's It's just all that fresh seafood and rice and vegetables. Emo contest winner. It's gonna be a two time and three time. Yes. I should probably have a contest for the second tier and third tier, or tier two and tier three subs, right? Really should. Mouse is fine to be known as the two time. The two time. Back to back Twitch emote contest winner. I think he needs more emotes, yes. I do. I really do. I should. 
Right, so people have an incentive to give to get the tier two and tier three sub. Because I believe I have one tier two or one tier. Uh, I think I have one tier two, or tier three. I can't remember. It's like one that's not me, because I count as a tier three sub for myself, even though I don't get paid for it, of course. But it includes me in the list. Again, for those of you who missed it, no stream on Monday. I have midterms and I have a take home exam. God damn it. If it's a regular test, I might even stream, but take home means I have to God, I fucking write stuff. Oh, I hate it. Why can't we just study and show up? Because we still have to show up. We have to hand that shit in. So annoying. Because you're like, oh man, take home sounds great. We get to do it at home? Yeah, but. Typically take home so you know like they could be twice as long as like oh you have all the time in the world to do it instead of in two hours. So you just end up having more to write. Oh why? Should have been a stat major bro, I know. I know <sighs> I will say that's what gets me. The STEM major people complain. I have so much homework. Like, yes. I, I will say some. You have a lot of homework. The difference is, at least the homework, is there's structure to it. You don't need to be too creative about it. If you're in a lot of liberal arts stuff where there's a lot of writing, oh my god. Yeah, I had I had uh, a couple of friends who were, you know, STEM majors. Whenever they were like, oh my god, I have a paper to write. Oh my god. You know, like, I have a paper that's due. You know, in, in, in five weeks and, you know, so, you know, like, it's always in the head and they're, like, planning for it. And, like, yeah, yeah, you know, I said that paper, I said that paper. And then I asked them, oh, how long is it? Oh, it's, like, you know, two pages. But what the fuck? It's two pages. We have to write a two-page paper every week. Like, it's two pages. Get over it. I mean, it sucks. Two pages sucks, but... You know, you don't have to freak out about it five weeks in advance, what the fuck? Puffing it up, hello? I was crying for a thousand word essay in latex. I had a week to write. Yes, major. Yeah, thousand words. Homework each day takes an hour tops, so I actually do. Probably takes a while to reading and understanding. Yes, I much rather do that. I. My younger brother mentioned this recently because he's an English major, and he also says that he hates writing. Yeah, he's obviously good. He's like he's a good writer, right? Uh, he said that you want to be careful about people who say they're good writers but love writing, because most of the most of the time the good writers absolutely hate writing, and that's why they're good at it. You know, because they hate how you know how much thought and effort you have to actually put in it. And so, and it's the people that, oh, I love writing. It's like, yeah, you're probably fucking terrible because, you know, you're just vomiting your thoughts onto paper. Yeah, and I think it's mostly true. I haven't met someone who's like, I love writing. It's so natural for me. And, you know, and I've been impressed. Yeah, I've never had that actually. Most of the good writers I know, they're just like, oh my God, I hate, hate writing. And of course, there are people who hate writing and are terrible at it. I'm not saying that everyone hates Writing is good at it. I'm saying that almost everyone that's good at it hates it. Oh yeah, being an English major. Yeah, at first he was just going to teach English and I think that he got so sick of t teaching in the US. It's very different from teaching in Asia. You have a lot less authority and people don't respect you. Right? Cause at least in Asia, the parents will respect you, right? So the students so you know, at least the parents are not gonna bitch you out or you know Oh my son is special! He is the genius! Why did you give him a C? You're like, bitch, just be glad I didn't give him a D. <laughs> 
I'm on a list now, aren't I? But yeah, you just have almost no authority here. It's terrible. Yeah, and kids here. Just go to absolute limit in pushing teachers' buttons. And yeah, and I didn't note this until uh, my younger brother mentioned it. He said that, so over here, there's no standardized syllabus. We had that back home, so we just kind of assume, you know, most countries had that. So there's no standardized syllabus. Uh, and even when they do kind of have it, the thing is, the, the sequence is not standardized. So, for example, if, you know, maybe in math, it's not so much. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but say, let's say, because math, you, well, maybe it still is in primary in elementary school but yeah so let's say math so back home the whole nation right all the schools will be teaching say geometry or trigonometry it'll be chapter two and say chapter two is in february everybody across the nation will be learning trigonometry at least for that year uh, of student that cl graduating class everyone will be learning the same stuff sort of maybe taught slightly differently but the same content in that time period so when you transfer or when you know when you transfer you don't really miss out on anything and he said that it's really sad here where a lot of uh, kids especially foster kids and things like that where they're constantly moving around they get left behind really fast because let's say they learned you know they were supposed to learn trigonometry in the second half of the semester they moved because you know they moved their you know they, they they moved to another foster family foster home and then this new school that they're at already taught trigonometry you know then they'll just get left behind you know because they just didn't learn it at all and they'll fail the, the class you know and then it just yeah so he said he said that part's really rough uh, it, you know, it doesn't look like education is going to improve t anytime too soon. So now he's like, yeah, I'll go back to academia for now. That's how things are supposed to be, but it's not. Yeah, back home. Back home, it's standardized. And, you know, I, we just took it for granted. We didn't really think too much about it until, yeah, he, my brother mentioned it's like, it's really sad watching students just struggle. And yeah, just get just fall behind. And you know, there's nothing you can do, right? As a teacher, you can't just like, oh, you know, I'll teach you. You know, just you. You know, you ha you, you know, you already have system. You know, to to all the other kids. Yeah, real rough. Okay, so it looks like we soldered everything. Let's plug it in, test it, and then we'll put it back in the case. I think it's all soldered. I think I finally turned this damn fan off. So cold. Oh man. Where is my cable? Oh, it's Type C, right? Oh, 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 the, oh, it's a daughter board, so I have to plug it into the case to test it out. And the case is here. Mr. Two-Tone Malone. I'm 
I'm gonna wash my hands because of the let it solder. IB schools are supposed to have a somewhat standardized curriculum and as being a student could transfer between different IB schools and not be left behind. However, there are many Montessori schools where they use the same name but aren't actually certified. So a crap shoot unless you put effort into doing research and all that. Yep. I went to a Montessori kindergarten. Was it my first kindergarten or my second? Because I transferred. Man, did I tell you guys? Okay. So while we're unscrewing this. I did not realize until just a few years ago. That when I went to... So basically I went to kindergarten when I was four. And I stopped for a year. And I went back to another kindergarten. At six. So five, that was my gap year. Sitting at home, watching Winnie the Pooh. Oh shit, banned in China. Uh, Barney just fucking rolling on the floor playing Lego, and you know life was amazing. And then my parents decided you have to go back to school. Fuck. Uh, so yeah, so I went to another kindergarten, and so this was a very popular, almost almost prestigious kindergarten. I mean, as a kid, you don't know anything, right? So it's only recently. That I realized, I was thinking back and I realized, holy shit, I got put into the slow learners class. I had no idea. Because I just remember outperforming all of them by a crazy margin. And, because I remember we would have uh, basically a Chinese form of spelling, for example, the card things here. Uh, it's a lot harder than spelling. Like spelling tests. Uh, so anyway, so the teacher would keep track of how many hundreds we got and we'd get a star. And so there'd be a little uh, board with all our names. So it's a classroom of less than 10, 10 students. It was like seven or eight students, right? And so we have all our names and we'll get a star for every hundred. And so mine, I had over two rows of stars for that semester. Like insane. The next guy wasn't even up to a handful. I was way like I had more stars than every other student combined. Uh, and and I still remember that that teacher owes me a present. She said that she would give a prize to the student the most stars at the end of the year. And I never got anything. I still remember. Anyway, what a bitch. Uh, anyway, so I was always curious, like man, like why am I outperforming all these students? You know, everyone's you know. I'm also born in that class, and and then yeah, and then because I, I actually knew some of those people. Some of those people I went to elementary school with after that, or I knew them from church and things like that. 
And I looked back and I was like, oh my God. That's why I was so bored, you know? That's why I was doing so much better. Like it felt so strange. Yes. They didn't have enough. Uh, they didn't have any more room in the normal classroom. No, it was just I was I was a transfer, so I just got stuck into wherever they had room. And I guess they probably told my parents. My parents were like, "That's fine." Yeah, I didn't realize that until now. But yes, I just remember like. Stuff like, you know, just learning how to read. I was like, what the hell's going on? And I'm like, why, why, why does the teacher need to spend so much time on everyone else? Yeah, and then I look back on it a few years and oh my god. Yeah, it's all the best of the dumb kids. Yeah, so for a while I was like, man, why did I get put in a class? And I remember, oh, it's because I went in the middle of the semester. My parents did not tell me a lot of things. So yeah, so there was that. They didn't tell me that I got put into the class of the slow kids. They also didn't tell me when I was four, I might have had something to do with why I ended up transferring. But anyway, when I was four, so every year they have the graduation ceremony, right? Like the awards ceremony, whatever. And so they were trying to do this dance thing you know, in grass skirts and shit, like type of that tropical type thing. And, you know, they were pairing up, you know, the, the guys and the girls. And the point of the class was that there were two more boys than girls in that class. So instead of just like, oh, let's just do something else. Or like, gonna have the two boys just do something else completely. They decided, oh, let's dress one of the boys up as a girl. Well, you know where this is going. Guess who remembers wearing a skirt? This smart dumb kid. Yeah. Apparently my... I don't even know if my parents were in on it. I don't even know if they actually asked my parents. Maybe they did. But again, my parents never told me anything. They just fucking just... But yes, cause I make I think I, I asked my parents, my mom about it, and they're like, yeah, like, what the fuck? That's fucked up. But hey, maybe it's you know they're way ahead of the gender fluidity and equality before everyone else. Maybe I don't know. They didn't ask me though, or I wasn't old enough to consent, right? That's the thing, they may be asked, but I was a nice kid. So probably, oh sure, why not? Just let it happen. <laughs> the grass tickle your balls? Don't know. I... Probably too young to have old man nuts. Probably. Yes, it's because they picked the. They want to pick the most uh, androgynous looking kid, I guess. Yep. Apparently, I fit the bill. And the grass skirt. God damn. Okay, so I'm trying not to scratch anything, so I'm gonna set this thing over here. You know, like so, like a so, and we'll pluck her in. This is why people are like, are you worried that people will start watching? You know, less people start, wa you know, more people start watching a stream of all these new builders. I'm like, no, no one else is gonna tell you stories about dressing up as a girl when you're four years old, being put in a class of dumb kids. <laughs> You're not gonna hear that anywhere else. Oh, 
Okay, so I don't know if they finally pushed through the RGB control thing. I guess not, so it's stuck in this color, unfortunately. That's not here now for the keyboards. I hope so. Hope you guys aren't actually here for the keyboards. This is all a distraction. It is all an illusion, a ploy, a decoy. Mr. Patro says, I was the only boy in kindergarten in my whole class. I slayed. Oh, oh look at you. Look at you. Mr. Player. <laughs> it's okay. Shh. We don't need to know you didn't really slay. Okay, so let's do switch hitter. I'll pull up the Xeno group by in the background. I'm gonna put the link in chat in case you're interested. Oh my god, this thing's not plugged in right. Fuck. No, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I was trying to pull up. Damn it. I'm trying to pull up something as a background, but I don't have. Got the board plugged in. I really don't want to plug, unplug the thing. That's a good try. Z. E. Yes. Or X. What did I say? Z. What the fuck? All kids look androgynous, let's be real. No. Let me let me show you a picture of what I look like. Should I? Should I trust you with that power? that knowledge but knowledge is power not yay hey how's it going let me see let's see yeah see so this was when I was four I believe Tony Builds, hello. How's it going? Okay, so this is why. Look at that. Yeah. So now imagine that with a grass skirt. Oh my god, now you're on a list. Yeah. And the kindergarten teacher said, Oh wow, we should dress her, dress him up as a girl. I went to an all-boys school the next year and they teased me that I was a girl. Oh, the, the, was this elementary school? Was this middle school, high school? Uh, so, I mean, back when we didn't have middle school, back when we was just primary and secondary, right? So, seven to 12 years old, primary school, and then 13 to 17, you're in secondary school. And so, secondary school, I went to an all-boys school. Because all the top schools in the state were either all boys or all girls. It's pretty fucking dumb. Do all Asian kids look the same? Clearly not. I mean, I look very different from my brothers growing up. Very different. Uh, back home, we would even have people, like uh, when I, when my younger brother's friends, my two younger brothers, when I went to their school and they saw me, they would ask them if I was from a different dad. Okay, so we have to replace this switch. I think, with this one. 
I'll have to do more testing later. Yeah, whereas over here, only in America, my elder brother and I get told that we look alike. Literally back home growing up, no one would ever guess we're brothers. Even when we go to the Chinese barber here, everyone refers to us as, everyone refers to me as my, as a friend, as in my brother. They'll ask my brother and I refer to me as a friend. Like, oh, what about your friend over here? Like, no, I, he's actually my brother. What? You guys don't even look alike. Yeah, but over here like, oh yeah, you, you totally look like him. Yeah. Why? Because we have black hair, black eyes. <laughs> Thoughts on Palm Alice? I mean, I don't know, buy it. I don't know. If you don't like it, sell it for profit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> right? I've never tried it. Exactly, yeah. Some of those boards, you don't have to even think about it. It's fucking, if you can buy it, buy it. And then just sell it later on. If you don't like it. Couldn't ch figure out how to f change the LED colors. Waiting on Wilbur to add that code into v via or QMK. Yes. Unfortunately, we can't change it yet. So that sucks. Uh, I, we could try to put a piece of tape or paper over it, I guess. But the problem is... Uh, we, 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 we'll, I'll try to remember to do that. Okay. I found out my prior school, I was the only guy in my class. Yeah, and all boys schools, they they teach you uh, how to have thick skin. Because they pe boys are absolute bitches. They are. Yeah. Is this the function key? It's so hard to find out. Yes, it's already soldered, but nothing showing up. So I'm assuming it's a function key. I would 100% buy the Palm LS if it had USB C. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker for me for something that different, you know. If it's like any, if it's just another Me Too keyboard, then sure, whatever. But if you like the layout, you like the materials? I like this really. This BC LS with 100% sell like hotcakes. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I still buy stuff even if it's me as me, but I get, it depends on how unique it is. Like if it's not special at all, then there's no point buying it. But if it is unique, then you know. It, should, it shouldn't be a deal breaker, right? You're not gonna get something similar, you know, just from somewhere else. Okay, so it looks like everything lights up, so that's good. Okay, and I wanted to try out what it looks like with the cover on. Wow, that is bright as hell. Yeah, the glare is insane. So, I think there are a few things we can do. We can either try to use tape to cover it up or paper. I have these dimming stickers. I'm gonna try those. Coffee filter. I don't have coffee filter. don't have these things you should buy them you can pick them up from Amazon so I put this on my router so that the lights wouldn't be so bright you can put if you have say like a microphone that has a light that's too bright you can do this as well so it doesn't completely black it out but it dims the light so it's nice so we could just stick it over the LED in this case. Yeah, I think we better just cover the LED, right? Instead of the actual Yes. So 
Let's unplug this thing. Maybe. Try to install it. Yeah, but you're not going to bring an LS out with you all the time, so it's really not that terrible to swap between. Again, you know, if, if it's a deal breaker, don't buy it, you know. I just find it weird that you would look at such a unique layout and then, or a unique board and then. Um, we've got cable connected type is that it's a deal breaker. But I guess maybe you mean like, you know, I'm still 90% gonna buy it. <laughs> okay, so let's be real careful. All right, I hope this works well and I hope it doesn't uh, change the color of the LED too much. I think if you try to frost it, you probably have to do it on both sides. Oh, that's actually annoying. I think maybe I can use tweezers. Perfect. Now let's try it. Because I don't know yet. Yeah, we're just trying it out. If it sucks, then we'll just take it out. Okay. That's. Now you can actually see the light properly on camera, but it is very dim now, so I don't know how it transfers to this thing. I guess it really depends on what you're looking for. Because right now, we dimmed it, but we didn't diffuse it. So the problem is that it still shows up as a single LED underneath it, you know? Hmm. So... Let's leave that on for now. Oh, I wonder if this would work well. We could try to cut a little bit and then test it out real quick. It works out with cutting another one. But for now. Oh, the problem is that if you do this, you can see the, the, I guess it's not even that obvious. It's only, yeah. Could be cooler, but you can see the, the the problem is that you can see the the texture of it. Can be very gentle. So you can see the the fabric texture, and so maybe you like it, maybe you don't. The cool thing is, of course, it adds a different look to it, but. but yeah, so let's try this. Scotch, like a magic tape.
That's the tray mount board, right? And I think the PCB is not programmable. So that's the thing. But I mean, if you're just trying to practice building, I could see this being good just for practicing. But, but yeah, it's, it's not fully programmable. So, and it's, it's tray mount and there's another thing. Oh, right, and it's north facing switches. Right, right, right. So you can't really use chair profile on there. I want that US wait USB C speed. The thing is USB C. I don't know if you're being satirical, facetious, but the the all these boards are just gonna just use USB 2.0, even with Type C. Type C is a connector type. Doesn't affect the actual performance. Serenade Abyss, welcome to the stream. Exactly, yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> Just making it clear for the people, you know, I don't want people watching chat. Oh my god, I never thought about it. I need to buy, my Corsair doesn't have Type-C. I need to buy the Logitech Type-C, you know, to make it fast. Make, you know. Just want to be clear. Yeah, that's what I said, you know. Probably being facetious. Okay, so we're probably not going to use the fabric tape. That's the problem is that that screw. So if you look at the way it's shaped, it's kind of difficult because if it were just a rectangle, you could cut it super easy, right? I could try to sandpaper it, but I don't want to damage it permanently. Right? I would. What I would do is I would sandpaper and then use a a frosting spray on it. Yeah, but the thing is, again, it's not mine, so I don't know how to turn out. But yeah, if they had just made a rectangle, you know, it would have been so easy. You can see just cut a fucking rectangle, but because it's round, it's, you have to be a lot more careful with it. Yeah. USB-C speeds mean stuff and doesn't use much. Yes. We need more Thunderbolt Type C on everything, man. Wish the new surfaces had had Thunderbolt Type C. It would be nice, very nice. Or the factory actually frosted like they were supposed to. Yeah. At some point, you don't know how much you can blame it on the factory, you know? Uh, yes, they're, they're ultimately, yes, they're ultimately, yes, they are involved. But... Okay, so it's actually two separate pieces. So... Hmm, I mean, they're two separate pieces. What's a good way to do it? it? Means we have uh more room to fuck up. Hey like Charles, hey, how's it going? My first is just today. I got blank caps too, which honestly was a mistake. Learning a new layout with blank caps in it, Chief. Yes. I put DSA Otaku. So it's just Katakana Legends on an Atreus and I did not have a good time at all. I had, I think I was at nine words per minute. I didn't know that you could time out in Type Racer. I didn't even know it was possible. Yeah, I got a pop-up saying, sorry, we had to end the race. Better luck next time. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so how do we go about this? Oh, too bad Deadwing Dick. Did he go to bed already? He's not active in chat, so I don't know if... Like, what's... What do we do? I could... 
going to send it. Or we could just sand this part. Frost up plastic sheet into two parts. Spray frost wet sand. That's what, yeah. That's why I said uh, I said with sanding always is gonna be wet sanding where you run a tap running water over it while you sand. Yeah, I would do that instead of trying to stuff something inside because it's going to be very difficult to cut the thing to shape because the tolerance is actually pretty good. It's actually pretty tight in there. So it would be difficult to shape anything around it. Just you have to use an exacto knife. Yeah, I guess I might just wait on Deadwing Dick before deciding. Frost the sticker paper. Yeah, but you still have to... Because yeah, there's there's almost no room. It's actually insane. You know, this is the good part, right? You, you don't want it to rattle or anything like that. So it's actually nice and tight in there. It's actually impressive. Right, so there's really not a lot of room. And because of the awkward shape, it's hard to cut something to shape, you know? Although I guess if things do stick out a bit, it's fine. Yeah, because you also don't want to cover the school holes. Yeah, so I'll I'll have to wait on that. I think because I don't want to. Or we could just use tape and an exacto knife today, and then you know if then we get you go ahead and sand it. Then then we'll do that. Okay, so let's try tape. Oh lord! Oh my god, there's a speck of dust. God damn it. So we're gonna try to put on a screen protector, you know? No! Should we do two layers instead of just one? Geo, hey, how's it going? But the head out teaching early class tomorrow in LA. Ooh, very cool. All right, CPC Lot Letter, thanks for being here. I hope you have fun and have a good weekend. Okay, so let's try this. Oh my god, I'm actually so hungry. Wow, I'm actually really hungry. Uh, I didn't realize how hungry I was. So, 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 where's my exacto knife? Oh my god, does my brother have my exacto knife? Shit! I think he does. 
I remember him grabbing it for some work thing he was doing. God damn it. Yes, he has my exact name. Well, well, let's hope this thing is sharp enough. I was using a pen knife. Oh my god, did we do it? Do we have another layer? Okay, progress. Oh! I guess we could just. Okay. So, it's frosted now. So, we still have to figure out the screw holes. I have to punch two holes here. Check that out. TTM Hatchman, hello, welcome back. We're not even done yet. We haven't put keycaps on yet. Okay, let's try this. So we put two layers of magic tape. Let's see if we need a third layer. I'm hoping two will be fine. Let's do this thing. Okay, that looks better, but not amazing. See, sort of, it's just not enough frosting still. Yeah. You can see at angles, it really shows. Yeah, so I I will just wait on Deadwing Dick and I'll ask him, you know, what he wants me to do if he wants me to even do anything. And keep in mind, this is with the dimming sticker. If you take that off, it'll be even more obvious how not diffuse it is. Do you take the dimming sticker off? Plate is super shiny indeed. Okay, damn, this sticker is gonna be a pain to take off. Yeah, so once the RGB controls get implemented. You should be able to dim the light just through software. Or oh, yes, firmware or whatever. So you wouldn't have to use this dimming shit. Okay, these are now full brightness LED. How's it look? Yeah, you can clearly see when the Yes, it is better now though. Look at that. It's so bright. Yeah, so we just used two layers of tape, but yeah, you can still all see it obviously when it's at an angle. Fortunately, we will need to frost it properly too. 
Get rid of that. Yeah, it's not very obvious on camera. On camera, it just all looks even, but in person, it's very odd. Okay, yeah, you can see that now. Let's see, kind of how I tilt it, you can see that. <laughs> Slice up. Also been a next release of Via. Okay, yeah, that'll be good. How plate is that? This is a PVD coated brass plate, half plate. You can see it's only on the parameter. Then I, yes, the the reason why I didn't want to put a piece of tape on top yet, so I could add more layers, but I honestly think that just sanding it is better. The reason why I didn't want to put one on top is because if you see the tape texture on the very top, on the topmost layer, it just looks really lame. Because your tape's not going to be perfect. And when the lights are turned off, the smooth finish actually looks really nice, the clear acrylic. Yeah, so just put tape over it, it's not even good. Uh, unless you frost it evenly. In any case, let's let's put it together. It's fine. Cause yeah, I think that we need to a bed. Okay, so this is kind of the tricky part. Wow, amazing end lighting. Look at that. This is how I came from the factory. God damn it. Look at that. Mildly penis. I will say I really like the hardware that Zeal sources. His screws for both the Zephyr and the Zeno, very nice. Very nice. Rubber feet as well. So yeah, actually all the hardware is actually pretty nice. As in the extra stuff, you know? The screws, the rubber feet, some of the best in the hobby for sure. Especially rubber feet. Um, I have a rubber feet fetish. I have no idea. I should really ask. Cause that's one thing that doesn't get enough attention. Rubber feet on boards. People just buy the cheapest stuff. Like, I mean, I'm guilty of that. Cause I don't know where to buy actually good rubber feet. But yeah, actually good rubber feet make a huge difference in terms of how a, the board feels on the on the desk. For example, the Zephyr and the Rama M60A. The M68 was heavier, but it just kind of glides around awkwardly on a desk. Whereas the Zephyr just feels planted. It feels way more planted than, you know, compared to other boards at that uh, size and weight category.
Use a Japan proxy to buy the anti-vibration mats from RF2 and HHKB. It's very cool. Yeah, just people just need, yeah. A lot of things that make a, that go into making a keyboard feel great. Board sliding around takes away, yeah, and it's not even just the way it slides around. Uh, it's not just the fact that it slides around, it's the way it slides around, you know? It's kind of a hard thing to describe. For example, if it just slides around like three of the four corners, it's annoying as hell. If it slides on this evenly, it's like, oh, look at my hyperglide feet on my keyboard. V2s as smooth as they say. I'd say, I'd say yes. So this is kind of the annoying part because the cable needs to fit in perfectly, so you have to go back in and push it in properly. There we go. Okay, so we have to be very careful. Screw. Oh. Yeah, if you're on tactile, it's definitely very smooth. Little V2. Huge tactile bump, so you have to make sure that you a very kind of sharp ish feel. You make sure you that's what you want. I think most people will like it. God damn it, I can feel my stomach. I can hear my stomach. Can you guys hear it? Ugh. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm basically just trying to line it up. I don't know if you can tell. Line them up. Now the other corner. And I try to line up the front and the sides, you know, because if the back isn't uh, flush, you don't really feel it, right? But in the front, you're gonna you're gonna make sure that the front side is clean, flush. Ooh, that's a long one. I like say. Everybody gets the ones that must be fucking starving, dude. I am starving. Don't 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 remind me about how hungry I am. But hello, good to see you here. Where, did you just get back from work? It's ten. It's ten forty-two. Where you are? The fuck. Probably change the camera. Stopped off with friends for drinks and food. Anything but starving. Damn. Damn you.
Even in general, I do like Zillow V2s. Are they my favorite switch? No. Do I prefer them to Zillow V1s? Not really. I like some of the improvements, right? Like the fact that if he's not pins are the right size, that's nice. Less switch wobble, that's nice. Feels almost seamless. Oh man. At least in the front. Yeah, I think that feels planted. So solid. No, I. It actually didn't touch the aluminum at all. It just flew off to the desk. Wish my wife touched me. That Anthony touched those scenes. Oh yes, you know it. My nice, soft, feminine fingers. Here, you can look at it. See if I scratched it. Oh, it wasn't the weight that had that scratch, right? Was it the plate that had it? Was it the weight? Hold on. I remember there was a long scratch somewhere. Yes, stare into your soul. Does anyone remember what that scratch was? It was on the plate, wasn't it? Remember doing the unboxing? That was a long inch long scratch or oh, was it this one or oh, it might be this one yeah I think that's it there's two in the hairline scratches yeah, and there's a solid line across you can see you call this the meteor shower PVD coating Will <laughs> now, if you have rubber feet, you're not going to get scratches because sand is not that tall. Maybe you put it in your pocket, but I don't know what you're doing, putting your keyboard in your pocket. And this is a 40%. Right. Sticking in front pocket. 
make it look like you're, you're absolutely packing. Okay, let's grab keycaps for it. Oh my god, I need to Grab the desk mat. My son is that tall, Kappa. Yeah, sort of key blade. Yeah. You can have it just on your belt. I will say, I mean, the finished board looks pretty nice, right? Especially when you have a nice Wilbur PCB with the half plate where you can see the the nice lines. Oh, the nice traces. So good. Look at that. Look at that shit. Stare at it. Oh my god. Desk mat. That's what we need. Purpose of that plate. So the reason why it even the plate. Okay. So the reason why you have plate is because plateless feels fucking amazing. And uh, but the thing is with this setup, when it's a top mount board, you need a way to hold up the PCB. So most keyboards, you know, that you buy, the, the PCB isn't gonna get screwed. Well, at least most. If you just buy a tray mount, like a poker 60% keyboard. The PC is gonna get screwed into the bottom case, but we don't want that because when you do that, the problem is that then it sounds and feels strange around the screw points because it's gonna be way more rigid. And so this one, it's a top mount board, so the plate is screwed to the top of the case. Look at the unboxing; you'll see it. And so if you don't have a plate at all, you don't have a way of holding stuff up so you could design it to where you screw the PCB into the case instead but most people don't do that so yeah so that's why they made the half plate the reason why the half plate existed at first was so that people could try a plateless feel with boards that were, were already in circulation that means you know custom TKLs that were already existing that, that existed with just regular plates you know you can't try to make it completely plateless so yeah so this was a way to do it it was a compromise, basically. So something similar here. Yeah. If you ask me, is this the same as going playlist? No. But is it still different enough from a full plate? Yes, absolutely. Definitely worth trying out. Yes, more flex. Sort of, yes, see? Yeah, I think this is amazing. Okay, so what we need is a desk mat. It just sounds and feels amazing, and the best part is, well, you yeah, you're kind of limited in terms of the switches. And, oh my god, that's messed upside down. Some of the switches and PCB you can use, but that's one less part to buy. So that's amazing. This stream brought to you by Myonix. No, please sponsor me. Grab keycaps for it. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. Not here, so I just talked about why you go half plate so that you can get the plateless feel while using a top mount. 
instruction. It is a compromise. At the end of the day. Ooh, nice. I hope that's not a euphemism. Or I hope it's a euphemism. Eating some grapes. Making some sweet, sweet, succulent wine. But yeah, because if you've never tried a playlist board, you should. Yeah, so having a half plate lets you get close ish to the playlist feel. Oh. Oh, wow. Yo, what? Oh my god, the plate just. Really? Oh no, that's the cable. What the fuck? Wow. So I have to unscrew the whole damn thing. So remember how I had to line up the cable into the recess before I tried to close it up? I guess it got dislodged or something. Because see how the plate is now, we're doing Viper style now where the switches get popped off the plate. So you can see I can try to push it back down. Remember I said that the plate was not holding up the switches properly? Push it back down, but the wired excess is pushing it back up. The PCB back up. Oh my god. Has anyone else run into this problem yet? Damn, it means I have to line up the case again. Hit that wire in place. Yes, might actually have to do that. It's a good suggestion. I'm not gonna lie, the more I've used uh, boards with daughter boards, the less I like them. Kind of annoying. Again, of course, it looks it looks way better, right, on the outside, because you get to decide on where to place your connector. And the good part is you don't have to replace the whole PCB if that part comes off. The connector wears out, but it's still a bitch to set up. Yeah, with full plate you won't have the issue because that sort of pressure won't dislodge the plate. So we'll go back. Oh my god. So you can just shove it all back in. Thing is, you can't really tape it in place because I guess I could take that section. We try it. Let me try it. Fuck. Where is my electric tape? if I had a worn out connector though, is that a thing? Yes, especially with USB mini and micro happens. Type C, 
I'm sure eventually, you know, someone will someone will do it. Yes, very hardcore. It's a bitch and a half. I think we're good now. Yeah, so we need to, you just have to be careful of this. Wait, why did I take those keycaps off? Oh, right, I have to turn it upside down. Yeah, that's why USB-C is amazing. Much better than SATA, for example. Uh, there used to be a very popular split 75% plus layout that used SATA in Connect, interconnect, and yeah, that was not very good because I think it's like rated for just around a hundred, I guess 50 or a hundred, something like that. And so you could legit just wear it out. And then the board was like seven, eight hundred dollars uh, on the aftermarket at the time, which today is like, wow, cheap. Man, I miss those days. Back then, you know, seven, eight hundred keyboards, you're like, oh my God. So expensive. No. Make sure the switches aren't lifting. Yeah, so again, be careful with the daughter board.
We're just talking about big keyboards. Is that? I have to put more keycaps on and take more off. That's <laughs> kind of annoying. I really hate putting on and taking off keycaps. But why would you like it? It's so therapeutic. Oh, no. If you do it all the time, it gets old so fast. Man, this board looks nice though. It looks so good. The black and black. Desktop wallpapers. If you if you like fun stuff, you could always get wallpaper engine. It's got some good stuff there. Good animated wallpapers. Or, I mean, you can just look up websites and stuff for a bunch, right? Or you can go on the wallpaper subreddit, so there's a bunch. I like using, before I got wallpaper engine, I used to use a lot of uh, stuff from Earth Porn and Architecture, those are subreddits. You could even wait for a sale, but yeah. Is it worth it at full price? Honestly, uh, how much is it? Five dollars? Five dollars is not bad, but it's okay. Uh, honestly, I hate that the curation is so bad. So I said, you, you know, almost anything is allowed to get posted, and I really, really, really hate just screen grabs from video games. I fucking hate it. I despise it so much it just looks bad right imagine just using a game screenshot and you're not even um, and it was probably the people who do make those wallpapers they're not even you know maxing out the stuff oh my god it looks so terrible yeah and I would say at least 70 or 80 percent of wallpapers are just game wallpapers like just straight up just video grabs from Video games. I hate it so fucking much. What's a who one sound? Yes, Dante. Yes, I don't get it. Like I, I'm just mute the thing. Like why? Why would you want sound on your desktop? It's just baffling me. And some of the animations, you really have to slow them down. This epileptic. Uh, you need to give like an epilepsy warning, you know. Yeah, and good luck if you have a a non mainstream resolution. Like I have an ultra wide, so the ultra wide selection sucks. I'm tempted to just I'm using it just because of some cost, you know, I've paid for it, so I'm using it. I've really thought about just disabling it until they have good wallpapers again because Yeah, most of them are terrible. Forever. Dreamcube on black looks so nice. Can't wait to get in a few days. Yes, it is amazing. So good. <laughs> Top five gym sets for me for sure. Not even joking.
Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Okay, not much about moving backgrounds. I'm gonna have Discord, Twitch come on full screen anyway, then it looks good. This is nice. A picture you like and want it to move, use Raid Meter instead of Wallpaper Engine. I used to have Raid Meter, and then I got. The problem with Raid Meter is that it becomes a. a it almost becomes like a chore, you know? I guess it is fun if you do enjoy it. Like, it's fun. If it was fun for me at first. And I got so tired of constantly fixing shit, and I'm like, Fuck this! I'm gonna set something and forget it. You know, kind of like a, when you first get your Android phone. You know, you're like, oh my god, root all the things. Or back then with uh, iPhones and stuff, iPods, jailbreak all the things. And now it's like, man, just wanted to work. Yes, we haven't done a. We we just put the keycaps on. Just put the keycaps on. The shame when the shine shows up. Ninety nine dollars. It's fine. Or at least I bought it for ninety nine. Right, that's three hundred dollars, and that sucks. Just shine it all evenly. Problem solved. Yeah, check that out. A bit of that side action. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Look at that black all over. Man, that is a handsome board. Right, it's just a shame the quality control is not amazing on it because you know, owner did a great job, an amazing job. The design. Wow, that two tone really shows up over here. <laughs> Damn. Quality control, and I think fin finish, the PVD coating. If you watch the unboxing, you will see a run through of all that. The unboxing is not up on my YouTube yet, but if you check my past broadcast, look at the VOD. It should be from a couple weeks ago. It should be last Monday, not this past Monday, but the previous Monday. It should be. Yeah, so check that out. Keep farmer's tan. Oh, yes. Oh my god, I actually have a. I have a goddamn watch tan now. It's bad. Alright, so get yourself a nice black cable. <clears throat> so good. This is annoying though, this light. Well. Yes, the K wood. I can't believe I said it. Oh my god. 
Oh, I hate myself. I was scared of messing up the jailbreaking. Yeah, I was too. And I ended up doing it anyway. And then, and then my iPod Touch got updated to the latest iOS and it just slowed to a crawl. That was terrible. Never bought an Apple product after that. Because yeah, because they force you to update and you can't reverse updates. And yes, it just slows everything down it's so bad. Shit just freezes. Last Monday's unboxing. Yes, watch that too. That was amazing. <laughs> it's not amazing if you're on the receiving end of it though. Okay, so let's... Quick typing test. I mean, I wanna grab food. I'm so hungry. No chicken, ah, uh, Wingstop's closed already. Why can't Wingstop open at 2 a.m.? God damn it. Oh, that's actually annoying. Oh my god, that plateless feel in the middle. Oh, oh. Krigasm. Plateless is awesome. This is a half plate, so you know. So close, but. It's just the plateless feel itself. Man. False, yeah. <laughs> sure, man. Drink that Kool Aid. How are Zillio's twice the price of inks? They're about the same. Pretty close. And we're not saying that Zillio's are better. I did not say that. No one in chat said that. We're just saying that inks have... All the VPR sales that inks have problems. That's it. Zillio's can have their own problems, but we're not talking about that, right? You know, so I don't think anyone here is a, a, a zeal apologist or anything like that. So I don't know why you're. No, I said he didn't say that zillas are better. He didn't say that. Did he? If you can quote him. Would be nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just don't want any of that fucking wrong fake news. Yeah, leave that garbage out of my chat. Can I have a civil discussion? Again, no one is saying that Zilios are better. All VPR still is that they have their own issues. Alex also said Inks have issues. But hey, if you pay money and you want to feel good about it, you can do it, but don't. You don't have to be rude about it. Luris, welcome to the stream. Yes, very nice. Uh, you can pick up these, you can pick up these diamonds from Amazon. Although I don't know if they still have all the options in stock. Mass Shop sometimes has them for pretty cheap, 33% off. I bought mine, I bought four of mine from Mass Shop. I have one from Amazon, the first one I bought from Amazon. And I bought four from Mass Shop. So I have all the main options. Yeah, I don't even like Helios. If I had to pick between Helios and Inks, I'd take the Inks, right? But again, not quite double. That's what I said. But it's good, it's good. It's okay. It's okay, as long as you recognize it. I just gotta... No one to... Yeah, that's what I said. I bought mine from Amazon. Oh, they have the this option? Yeah, because they... Last time I checked, they only had like two or three in stock because there are five options. Burger, the burger one, the black burger one, the magenta... donut one and the teal popsicle one which is this one and then they have the gray shark fin am I missing one? Oh, and then the fluorescent yellow french fry one which the yellow would be nice about well it is still nice but it is it is still pretty but I wish it were a solid yellow instead. Okay, so I'm gonna type on this. So yeah, so Zilio V2 is lubed with 25G0, I believe. No, I did not lube these switches. So don't ask me how they feel. You can ask the owner once he gets the board. It's not my board. I do that with all loot boards though. Even when they're good, I make sure not to say anything. We were talking about Zilios, okay. Zero V2, dollar a switch, get on ink, 75 cents a switch. Zilios, you can regularly find them uh, during their, they call them pre-orders, it'll be 85 cents. Yeah, you don't see how it's twice the price. I never even talked about Helios. Yeah, Brazil is definitely difficult with electronics. Like I know consoles are terrible. They're insanely overpriced in Brazil. Ridiculous. 
Share class at a low separation though, yes. Like the 7V. Yeah, that's why I didn't. One of the reasons why I didn't end up buying it. Yeah, I think this key is an FN key. Cause yeah, it's not showing up anything to me. Man, I really want to make a plateless ZW2 board. It'll be nice. Because plateless also kind of softens the tactility a bit, I guess. So it's pretty nice. Oh, look! Mr. Inks is perfect has left the chat. <laughs> LOL! Opinions. It's natural. Just don't be a dick about it.
If you're wondering, no, the right side does not sound exactly the same as the left. Could be the could be uh, the switch as well. I'll have to look into that. Yeah. So again, just don't, just don't just don't don't be a cunt in chat. Uh, that's that's all I ask for. You know, I I think I'm generally pretty permissive with stuff. Yeah, it's okay though. At least at least he censored himself. That's the best. Yeah, I mean, if you just joined chat, then you probably missed it. You know. Yeah, basically, guy comes in. And it's just weird, because it's not like I'm sponsored by anyone. It's not even my board. I didn't even say I like one switch over the other. She was up. What I have is good and better, way better. And, is, and then so someone else in chat is like, ah, they have some, you know, whatever switch it has some problems right now. You know, mainly the ticking issue and then the, the leaves falling on the switches. That is actually a concern, right? And then the guy just says false and You could literally look that shit up, right? People have video evidence of that stuff. And, and then it starts making them uh, yeah. And I have to I have to call him out on it because yeah. Don't need that sort of garbage in my chat. Imagine being such a snowflake. OMG! You said the thing that I bought is not perfect. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and he went on like, oh, well, Zillow's more expensive. Like, what are you paying so much? And I'm gonna like, wait, no one said Zillow's better. Like, what, what are you talking about? What if I hate all the switches? You can't be switches if you hate all switches equally. Is that a thing? Switchist? We should make it a thing. And all these people who are... You weighed this board. Yeah, I mean... That's what happens. This is weird, right? No one... At first, you know... You probably wouldn't say that, Oh, they sound a few bad. They just said that they have issues. That's it, you know? No one's denying that, you know? No one said that they're, oh yeah, they sound terrible. No one said that. No. That's the when people are, are not fair with arguments, you know. Constantly shifting goalposts. Like, hey, you know, we're not talking about that. It was there. Well, I paid $70. How dare you? Okay, so let's weigh this thing. With, uh, so just assembled half plate. So, you know, if you bought a full plate, it'll be heavier, of course. If you uh, with brass, that is. So, five point eight pounds, which is in oh, slightly over five pounds thirteen ounces, which is two point six kilograms. No, the thing is, it's not about what switches are issues. Yes, of course. Completely fair. Um, the problem is when there are like functional issues, like leaves falling off. That's like a that's you know that is a serious problem for sure. There's an actual serious problem because you know most a lot of people who buy them want to mod the switches. You want to disassemble them, and yeah, if the leaves are just. Psh Nintendo Switch best switch. Yes. Checkmate Atheist. Imagine we're on a desk mat. Uh, I believe it might affect it. Hold on. No. 
Apparently not. I used to do this, and then someone was like, "Oh, you should wait on a on a flat surface." I'm like, "Okay, I guess." I think it was zoology actually. Man, where is that guy? Like the type of Joy Cons. Other than that, um, is it the Wii U? I think it was kind of ahead of its time, I guess. Like. <laughs> It definitely wasn't perfect. Tuck six, hello. Just made my first build. I'm in love with it. Very nice. What did you do? Hope it wasn't as bad as the keyboard we unboxed on Monday. I doubt it. There's no way it's gonna be that bad. There's no, no way. That one was amazingly bad. Right, all in control kind of give me anxiety. I don't know why. Is it because of the reflection? Like it looks like they're connected, but it's just the reflection. Let's see. It's the light playing tricks on you. Hey, my girl inks are this problem. Wrong. <laughs> it just cracks me up. People people are weird about what they get defensive over. Voidern's fire, yes. That, yes. I have not even desoldered it yet. T9 is amazing. So definitely better. I don't, uh, I cannot do the whole swipe thing. I know it works for some people. I can't do it. Got DZ65, RGB, PCB, Tofu, Elu case, Brass Plate, Get Yellows, Milk Top, Black Bottom. Jimmy Stabs, all loop the 25G0. Very cool. Very cool. Right? First builds are always fun. That's great. Mirror like plates are pretty nice, but matte plates are where it's at for me. I agree. The problem with Shiny also, it, it you know, once you get stuff, you know, it's gonna happen, right? Dead skin hair or fur if you have pets it's all gonna get trapped under the keycaps and when you have a very shiny plate it gets off it gets super obvious right whereas if you have just a nice matte you know plate you don't really notice which i guess could be bad too because then you don't clean it but yeah sandblasted plates are good Split build next. Very cool. So you do one on Saturday and then one on Sunday. Or one half. Lord. Commission builds for boards not on KB Defense. Yes, I do. I I should probably just remove that KB Defense website, right? I should do that. Let me do that. I, I, I hate that people think that. Well, I mean, most people don't think so, but. Let me remove all doubt. This board was not on KB Defense. All right. Most of the boards I built actually are not even from KB Defense. Let's see. Edit the speech. Yeah, so I do build commissions. Been doing it for over two years now. I've assembled around 200 keyboards, custom keyboards at this point. I might even be the most prolific builder at the moment. Right, not, you know, I'll probably get surpassed sometime, but as of right now. Hold on. Let me remove that. Yeah, cause like the the referral thing doesn't even work very well anymore. The KB fans this one. Do that. Panel removed. Amazing. Okay. Eighteen hundred. I'm gonna build for the next year. I'm looking around for an assembly service. Well, feel free to contact me. Email's right there. You can see my 
if you check out the if you join the discord you will see more information there we can just check my mac market listing which is also there in discord the only thing i, I like the way 1800s look the thing is i can't use them because i can't get used to how far up the f row is because i actually use those keys in for the stuff i do no fast so conflicted about a board as i do the xeno just sell it and get the 7v that's literally it <laughs> jk the opponent don't kill me just saying you know for people who don't want to wait or are tired of waiting Oh boy, NVA memes. Mr. Keeps, yes, exactly. That's why I said I will get surpassed. For sure. Right? For sure. Because you know I build, you know, one of one keyboard a week for over two years, over two and a half years. I will get surpassed for sure. Because there's some people out there just fucking just, like Mr. Keeps is insane. Mr. Keeps Probably oh, has owned the most boards. Crazy. You should check him out if you haven't already. Yeah, but he doesn't do commissions. But he has so many. It's insane. Uh, super great because you can see just how much passion he has. He's, and, you know, kind of, we take kind of a similar approach in that we're not trying to be like a big YouTuber or anything like that. You know, we just do something that we like and we enjoy. And we like the community that, you know. That, that that shows up to our streams kind of a kind of a similar approach i'm not trying to be celebrities that's why you don't see us like, you know mr keith doesn't advertise i don't advertise and i don't ever post stuff anywhere I keep to myself yes mr keeps is a fucking god he's <laughs> he's insane just the amount of keyboards he has Okay, so let's show off the assemble board once more. And then, oh, I'm gonna show the LEDs, right? So yeah, so you can see we need to frost it. Uh, so I'll probably ask Dimity what he wants me to do. Because right now, on camera, it doesn't look bad because, you know, cameras are really bad with lights and stuff. But you can see that, you know, depending on the angle, the dot just lights up really, really bright. And no, that's not because caps lock, scroll lock, or num lock, but it's just, yeah. Because there's only one single LED underneath. And the, uh, Acrylic piece is not frosted at all. See, anodizing, not perfect, right? The matching is definitely not, not good. Uh, anodizing is okay. And the PVD coating is not great. It's, it's at best all right. Again, check out the unboxing VOD. We'll wipe that off, of course. Just... Yeah, just to show more angles of the assembly board. It is a handsome board, for sure. It's not a present. The seams aren't very noticeable from the front, at least when you have a lot of light going. The side is kind of obvious, but... A handsome young alt... Yes, alt boy. He looks good from far away if you don't want it anymore, I'll take it. So again, I've been typing on it, is there any software that I should get? So, touch six. I don't know what it uses actually. I'm assuming it uses QMK because most of KB defense and stuff uses QMK now. But I could be wrong. You should probably look up. Like the product page probably have it. What would look great a flashy set? The nice thing about the separate Afro keys is that you can actually use most sets with like the accented F5 to F8. Because on traditional 75% where it's all smushed together, it looks so bad. It looks real bad uh, but you know because it's it looks a bit more like a TKL you can have a bit more fun with the colors the question was the DZ6 no, the tofu 65 RGB 
not the Xenon. DZ65, sorry. Wasn't it? I thought it was the D65. No, stock six, right? Yeah, he's asking about that. I like accented F rows. Yes. Just not on traditional 75. I really don't like it on traditional 75 percent. I'd rather do a solid color. So I put a nav cluster, delete that shift shift the one you need to write. Seven and a V in upright, yes. For sure. I'm obligated to agree. Okay, so let's get a raid going. If you have any last questions, final questions, let me know. Whoops. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's never mind. That webcam never on. Donkin, yes, and you can see Gok himself is here. So you have to say it's the best. Otherwise, you hurt his feelings. Tacos or burritos? It depends. The problem with most burritos is that they try a bit too hard. Most places. They just end up feeling very good. Whereas tacos. It depends. It depends on what kind of, what actual kind of tacos and burritos talk about. Because you're asking like, oh, I mean like Taco Bell tacos and burritos and you know, I'm gonna give you a different answer from like say if you go to a proper Mexican place and you get a taco or burrito. And enchiladas are good, but I don't know if I prefer it to like, nice tacos. Like uh, I went to Austin, found this taqueria, they were super fucking good. Definitely the best tacos I had in my life. They have this really good green salsa as well. That I actually we actually bought four tubs of that stuff back, like containers. And you know the place is good because a lot of the waitresses can't even speak English. Good stuff. And yeah, the Al Pastor, oh my god, so good. And it was the only corn tortillas I've ever enjoyed. Because usually I hate corn tortillas, but theirs were really nice, you know, really, really soft. And it's steamed, and it's so soft that they have to use two, because it's really thin as well. So they use two layers of that stuff. And then the flour tortillas are lightly toasted. So it's made in-house and then they toast it just very lightly on the outside. So it has a little of that crisp and charredness on the outside. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, not, not fried, not like, you know, taco shell or whatever. Okay, so let's roll credits. Like the white E7v1. Yes, I got this on it. I got, I, I saw that in person. I got to see that in person at the Dallas meetup, but you know, didn't get to see it close up, so unfortunately I can't comment too much about it on it. Good tacos of purple? Yes. So that was ta OMG Tacos, which is which which has three locations here in DFW. It's open at 3 a.m. Anybody want tacos? But no, not as good as the taqueria in Austin. Like, yeah, I would even put. I would even say like just one. If the that the tacos with that taqueria were like a ten, OMG tacos is like a seven. Or, yeah, seven. Still good, but not as good as the ones in Austin. Holy shit! Five minutes from Mexico. I love crossing with some cheap, amazing tacos. I'm so jealous. What are you gonna do when they build that wall, though? So just they have little glory holes for just tacos. Just stick the burrito through the hole in the wall. <laughs> I found a hole in the wall, place. This just, just little burrito sticking up. Oh right, the the credits. Damn it! <laughs> I'm reading. Yeah, exactly. Literally a hole in the wall. Yeah, hole in the wall, Mexican place. Jeff Leopard, Dante, Jill Sandwiched, Hannah the Wolfie, Chili Man Willie, Seskaboom, Toodle. Thank you so much for the follows. I really appreciate it. I hope to catch you guys. So I stream every Monday and Friday, but not this coming Monday though. I'll be busy, unfortunately. 
Not negative, Devin Dick, Eames Bird, Mediocre Pudding, Hammer Brother, Alhex. Thank you for the resubs. A lot of long time resubs, actually. Twitch Grandpas. Okay, so I should probably do a raid. Oh no. Set to build still streaming. It's doing Lego. Okay, we're gonna go there. Uh, but yes, thank you everyone for being here. I hope you have a good weekend. For those of you who are experiencing a cold front or really, really cold temperatures, I hope you stay warm. Everyone else, stay cool. I don't know. But yes, I hope you have a good, refreshing weekend. Hope you don't go to bed hungry like I'm trying, like I might be. Okay, so let's do the raid and then we'll say goodbye to everyone. Okay. So set to build does Lego. I'm a big Lego fan. Not the biggest, because you know, people like that exist. Uh, but Lena, Mouse is fine. NGB, VPR, Jeff Leopard, Thornkin, Tuck6, Hammerbrother, Booby Bep. Also good to see you, Booby Bep. It's been a while. Gawk. Who else? Please give 7v. Who else? Jerk Chicken, yes. And BB Bangkok. Yes, everybody, have a good weekend. Good night. I will see you all on Chester Bill Street.